Greetings brothers, this is Rostan and today we got a 1v1 on Caldari's Desert. Starting from the blue side, King of Python is playing the Warlock. An offensive hero starts with uh, Destructor and uh, can be tanky. Can also go for uh, AOE emulator and get uh, Merciless Pitchblade. And uh, Pitchblade of Kernels rather. To go versus marines and heavy armor and stuff like that. But anyway, he's sending the warlock to the right side to the power and uh, going for a howling manchu squad, not going for a uh, guardian squad here. And sending the rest to the left side. Also, warlock going for the victory points. His opponent, Zavargel, playing the Chaos Lord, a tanky melee hero. Has uh, some good controllability uh, for the Warlock if he wants to, but I'm sure uh, I bet he's gonna go Arm of the Inferno again. And uh, Zavargel here with double uh, Heretics and a Chaos of Space Marines. Chaos of Space Marines and the Heretic to the left side. The other Heretic also gonna go right side to support the Chaos Lord. They're gonna find Howling Manches, these units on the left. And uh, they're gonna be fine so far because there's a heretic and there's a case of space marines. And howling banshees are gonna bleed if they stay in here. So, uh, good job here by Zorgel. A little bit sloppy by uh, Python here. So, uh, the matchup Chaos Lord versus the Warlock. <clears throat> Usually, LR uh, are good versus the Chaos. They are versus good versus marines in general. They're good versus the space marines, Chaos. Um, they are not good versus orcs, they uh, kind of struggle versus tyrannies, they m versus guard as well, yeah, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I think orcs is a worse matchup to be honest. And uh, destructor, damn, a lot of damage on these ticks, about 200. And um, warlock, uh, they go after the warlock. Which is trying to decap. But yeah, um, this is a classic matchup as well. Warlock versus the Chaos Lord. So Python isn't going for um, another unit. He has gone triple generators. So I assume a bunch of upgrades and the shuriken weapon team and trying to go tier 2, I, I guess. But yeah, he's conceding the map control for the uh, sake of upgrades. What is waiting for? He doesn't have requisition. That's fine. And uh, Warlock, it's gonna be fine, yeah, it's gonna retreat away. Chaos Lord going for the Arctic Frenzy upgrade, the Combi Flame, uh, oof, might actually get this uh, Warlock here. No, no, it's gonna be fine. Okay, goes for the Shuriken as soon as he gets the uh, requisition, and yeah, he, I think he's gonna have uh, excess power here, doesn't have enough requisition. He has the Guardian Weapon team in the field and uh, parking the Guardians and the Howling Manches on the right side without any upgrades versus the Chaos Lord and uh, approaching Chaos Space Marines which are going after the power but they are gonna find a uh, Shuriken Weapon team here. Come on shoot the Chaos Lord, yeah doing lots of damage and Chaos Lord retreats away, good positioning of the Shuriken Weapon team here, nicely defended with the Shuriken platform and he has got the um, Zorgel has got the Eternal War for the Chaos Space Marines and also with the Combo Flamer, which uh, I think every Chaos Lord gets every game in every one. <laughs> Such a good weapon. And um, with that, he's gonna be able to control the Warlock. Like, not control the Warlock, shoot the Warlock and shoot the Guardians and the Howling Manches as well. It's just so good. Not to go for that. And Flame also is good versus the Howling Manches and the approaching units. Meleeing the Chaos Lord in tier 1. Infantry ones. Anyway, um, I think they do have Flame resistance, but they uh, they can take damage. Warlock goes for Champion's Robe and the Merciless Witch Blade. So, uh, Python with this extra power, excess power, goes for a bunch of uh, heavily upgraded units. Howling Manches upgraded uh, ASAP rather. First goes for the shuriken, then these two, and then the warlock. Just kidding, kidding up. Nice jump here. Goes after the chaos space marine. This uh, merciless fish blade does tons of damage, but now has to retreat away. Shuriken cannon position on the attack. Don't worry. Retreat grenade. Uh, not good. 
Okay. Did you are gonna go home? Safe and sound. Uh, so at the moment, uh, map is cut in half, but uh, Zovergirl had uh, a little bit of an early map control. <coughs> Experiences and bleed uh, has been the same-ish. Upgrade on both of the heroes and upgrade on the units as well. Double sparring champions. Well, double sparring champions is definitely not bad, but uh, yeah, this warlock is gonna have a good time. With these uh, two upgrades, missions, Spirit Blade and the Champion's Rope, basically giving him the shield. It's gonna be really good versus that. And <coughs> excuse me, Grandfather Nurgle. Please let me talk. And uh, Howling Man is going forward. Morlock is also dealt, but but there's a Spawning Champion Heretics. They were chasing the Chaos of Space Marines. Uh, kill the Vic, yeah. On the Shuriken Weapon team, one more Heretic dead. Now, uh, Warlock is going after the Chaos Space Marines. This Guardian is not dead after Chaos Lord throws him with the Demon Sword. Come on, attack the Chaos Lord, yeah. Yeah, Chaos Lord has to retreat away before dying. Yeah, this champion, the Champion's Robe is the, uh, basically the Chaos counter is extremely good versus chaos there, there are two things that, that are really good versus chaos with warlock and eldar one of them is this champion and merciless especially in tier one and the other is wraith lord anyway um both players going tier two is a little bit sooner because of the uh, early map control and also um his opponent had uh, two upgrades there okay uh chaos Artics going forward we're gonna find Howling Banshees. Howling Banshees with Aspect uh, do take care of the heretics. He's busy. Come on, throw this grenade. E yay, that's a good one. Oof! <laughs> wow. Six heretics. Six heretics dead. That's really good. Uh, oh, actually, they went down. They went down. They went down in range. I didn't see that, but I heard that. Oof. Okay, that's uh, that's a good kill for Python. Uh, really good kill. And uh, Zorogel is in tier 2, and guess what? Goes for Blood Letters. <laughs> okay, uh, he goes for Blood Letters um, versus Warlock and possible Wraith Lord. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna Blood Crusher, but you know what? There's a Wraith Lord in the field. Yeah, usually um, Blood Crusher is good. Is uh, is good for Seldar. It's really fast. Especially if you can get it that, get it out real fast. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, blood letters, I guess, are good if used defensively. They can warp shift. They can uh, jump to the uh, guardian weapon team. But yeah, uh, a wraith lord would really take care of the double bots. Double blood letters. Okay, uh, so I guess he he does need a um, he does need more units since he had double heretics and uh, replacing a, another heretic squad. I guess would be futile to be honest because heretics in tier two aren't that good. In tier one, yeah, spawn champion heretics are really good, but in tier two they're just not that great. Let the galaxy burn from the chaos lord, as expected. Arm, arm of the inferno for the chaos lord it, itself himself. Okay, uh, Howling Man just have to retreat away versus Blood There's uh, warships. They are uh, <coughs> not gonna last long. Also, Warlock having fun killing Chaos uh, Space Marines. And here we see the Shuriken Cannon on Wraith Lord. Level 2. Yeah, this, uh, these Blood Tethers are not gonna have a fun time versus that Wraith Lord. Gonna do so much damage with the shuriken cannon and uh, also catching to the brothers doing this, doing the splash damage versus melee. Not, not even mentioning the uh, warlock. Warlock, I'm the yeah, it's gonna go down though. Warlock is dead. <coughs> warlock is dead. Okay, that's a, that's a good victory after losing a uh, chaos vertex squad in tier one. That's a uh, good comeback there, actually. Actually, really good. 362 to 346. Economic wise, uh, 
I guess it's even. It's even, kind of-ish. Although, uh, King of Python um, is kind of a star for requisition, especially after uh, he's gonna repurchase his uh, Bolog, it's gonna be bad. So, I guess the lower girl, let me guess, it's gonna go for Plague Marines to deal with the Wraith Lord. Hmm. But yeah, you do need the last cannon to be tell you the truth uh, to uh, go after the range Wraith Lord. But yeah, he's, he's a Vargel, he's, he's gonna go for a uh, Plague Marine, isn't it? But anyway. <laughs> But yeah, he, he does a good job with his uh, warship and plague marine. Yeah, he's gonna go for plague marine. He, he, he does a good job with the uh, warship and plague marine warship to get them out and uh, shoot the right lord. <clears throat> anyway, um, defensive uh, phase shift on the bloodthirst to get them out of the trouble. I think he's just uh, buying time until the plague marines are out in the field. He's not necessarily worried about the Wraith Lord and uh, going for the last cannon, he's just trying to neutralize that and go after the infantry. Okay, that's that's fun playstyle, that's fun playstyle. And uh, these blood is really in trouble and Python, knowing his opponent's mind, uh, is doing the reverse. He's going after the blood others, knows how to take care of them. Okay, Plekmanis are in the field. But the heretics are off, uh, so they cannot worship, I guess. Double guardian guardians are also there, not double guardians, one guardian. On the right side, something decaps, but some um, howling banshees are capping. Blood that is going after the shuriken cannon. Oof! The ha the heretics go down. The heretics go down. Warlock man kicking ass. And Zorgel has to replace the Heretic stuff and the, the Chaos is Pace Marine go down. What the? How the hell that happened? Wraith Lord did all that? God damn it. Damn, this, this Wraith Lord is doing a number on these Blood Tutters, man. Already the Wraith Lord and the uh, Warlock there. Yeah, the Chaos is Pace Marine went down in here. And there's the Autark drop. Completely misses everything, but not everything raises the blood letters. And uh, it's a good thing that uh, this blood, uh, this author actually jumped in here uh, because there are plague marines approaching to the Wraith Lord. And uh, the Howling Banshee suddenly to the field versus double blood letters, though they're gonna be in so much trouble. Exarch is gonna die. Yeah. No, Exarch is not gonna die. I'm lying. Mm, yeah, she's okay. Blood is jumping and teleporting forward. Not jumping, teleporting forward. And wow, uh, that, that was a nice kill on the Howling Manchies. That's a really big deal. Good job. Warlock though going after the... Uh, Neil low for Warlock going after these. Yeah, this Red Lord uh, doing tons of damage to these uh, low HP Blood Tutters. <coughs> Python desperately trying to finish this Wraith Lord. This engagement has gone for so long. Like, these units are engaging each other for so long. I have felt that this Wraith Lord has been in the field for like 5 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of lost count. Uh, killing lots of um, Chaos Space Marines. Including Plague Marines. Damn, those blood though, do lots of tons of damage, melee damage. Shuriken off the field. Uh, there's the Red Lord and uh, Zorgel going for the Chaos, Chaos Dreadnought there. Yeah, going for the Chaos Dreadnought. And Red Lord here. Gotta be careful about that. At this HP though, uh, Red Lord should be careful. Okay, it's gonna go back. The Blood at her squad. <coughs> Another Rebel Gate. Desperately needs. Uh, this Red Lord needs uh, repairs. Splat the third squad barely escapes. Black Marines are nowhere. Uh, okay, they are near. They are near. And Python knows. And uh, he takes the, the Red Lord back. Okay, now getting some repairs. Uh, nearly level 3. Halfway to level 3. Uh, this uh, Red Lord. Good job. 
Okay, uh, so after this engagement, uh, which last, this engagement lasted for ages. One generator down here, by the way, <laughs> on the contest that we were, we very rarely see that in the Kalar Desert. Okay, 346 to 274. And, uh, it's the case to not with the auto cannon. I guess the auto cannon, uh, is good enough. I guess, uh, Python is gonna go for bright lands. Level 3 these dudes, level 2, 2, for level of the blood, this is level 2, yeah. But, um, Python has done a better job, uh, in bleeding the Chaos Forces. Okay, Veve Gate destroyed. Yeah, he's really handy with his blood tether and heretic usage, corn heretic usage, corn worship. Okay, uh, BPs are uh, in the favor of Python, so uh, he's a hundred, about a hundred victory points ahead. He's also going tier three, half a tier three. Hasn't got the bright lands. I guess he wants a fire prism straight away. Yeah, I assume. Generator bash here. He doesn't need generators. He has tons of power. I think he wants control for this Chaos Lord, although he has the Shuriken Cannon and the Wraith Lord. But uh, I guess that's not enough. He needs this as well. He wants to keep these. Yeah, you see? But there's a little Galaxy Burn as well, so... That's also one other thing. You might as well go for... Uh, versus Double Blood Tethers as well. Uh, you might as well go for a... Uh, Bright lands. Grandfather Nurgle is laughing as the Chaos Forces approach. And uh, these generators are gonna be screwed. Two of them in here. The uh, Chaos Sword actually damaging these blood eaters with the flame, but it's also damaging the generators as well. Some heal coming from the uh, corn warship of the Chaos Heretics there. Plague, uh, Plague Marine is going to bash some generators if they can. One gen is gonna go down for sure. Auto Cannon Dreadnoughts, uh, good grenade, but these dudes are really tough. Lots of HP. Getting worshipped, getting healed as well. Guardian Weapon Team retreating. And uh, what, what the hell is Python effect? Is it going for Avatar? Really? Are you going Avatar? Versus double blood letters? Seriously? I don't know, man. That, that'd be really bad. I don't know. I, I double blood is a happy minute. What is the devil girl doing? You should be going to tier 3. Anyway, double blood is just jump, just marching to the base. Python uh, not buying, I think. Really hurting him in the ass, but. It, Ah, Wall Wallock and the auto just capping everything in the map. I was I wasn't even checking. Wow. Zavorgel bashed all of these generators. But you know what? Everything else is capped by Zavorgel. He's even bashing these uh gen this generator farm. Look at that. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> Cheeky Python. Holy shit, he's going for the avatar. Yeah, these, these blood eaters are gonna have a, such a fun time versus Avatar, I'm telling you. With power, melee, worship, and uh, yeah, they're gonna beat level 3 soon as well. So uh, yeah, they're gonna so have such a fun time. And uh, tier 3 also for Zoragel. Can also go for a, a Predator soon. Yeah. Can also go for Phobos. Blood for the Blood God. I really thought Python would have gone for uh, Fireprism. I don't know. Anyway, um, versus Speechblade uh, easily takes care of the Chaos Sword. That was a special attack, so uh, Hillevik didn't uh, knock back the Warlock. Level 5 Warlock and uh, level 4 Chaos Sword. Shuriken Cannon right to the field, uh, but these, uh, mm, I, I like the, um, 
conservative uh, play with these Chaos Heretics, just healing these uh, Blood Tethers, uh, really supporting his Blood Tethers really well, so Argel. Yeah, really conservative with the Blood Tethers. And um, victory points are 287 to 158. 1 to 0 at the moment for Zev. Left side Plagueman is capping. Warlock has done such a good job as expected. Spilled Warlock and Wraith Lord. Avatar is in the field and he's going for the Seer Council. Seer Council is good. The still a Fire Prism is missed. Really, really, really missed. Oof. <laughs> nice uh, phase shift here by Zev. That was Wrath of Cain by the Avatar. Getting countered uh, by that phase shift. Anyhow, uh, it's gonna be great on Clean One. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? Could have also gone for a tank, but uh, yeah, he's going for the Mark of Corn Chaos Threat now. Okay, get Corn and Nurgle here. Blood that is. Uh, th this thing is actually gonna be really good versus Wraith Lord. Wraith Lord is getting a Wraith Born though, uh, near level 3. And uh, still with the Shurken Cannon, this Guardian Weapon team he wants his uh, suppression, although there are double Blood Tethers. Like Brightlands has a uh, more range, so I guess getting the Brightlands would actually be good. But anyway, uh, 130 to 266. There is a there is a still a 2 to 1 cap for Python. Zev tried to cap, didn't happen. And this baby is gonna deal with this here cancel easy peasy. Yeah. Although Blood. Rage is going after the uh, Seer Council. Avatar also going forward. So is the Wraith Lord. Seer Council jumping into the Plague Marines. Uh, and the Wraith Lord going after the Blood Tethers. Blood Tethers, though, in turn, going after the Avatar. Look at the uh, Blood Tethers raping the Avatar easily. A bunch of his damn. Uh, a bunch of his HP gone. And there's the Goo. What the hell is going on? Goo is going after the Seer Council. And Seer Council going after the Plague Marines. And uh, Avatar is nearly half a uh, dead. And something went down. What the hell was that? That was the Autark one going down. Damn it. Wrath of Pain. That's the Blood that is jumping forward. Wrath of Pain missed. Uh, Dreadnought nearly. Uh, this avatar is gonna go down if he's if he stays in here. Uh, is this threat not dead? Even if it is this threat not is dead, I think that's gonna be worth it because this Wraith Lord also. Yeah, level three upgraded Wraith Lord is gonna die. Yeah, let's let's see if we get uh, if we get a sink kill. Come on, win the sink kill. No. No, it's gonna go down to the crew. So, uh... Oh, Warlock went down. Warlock went down. Damn. And now there is a uh, really beat up avatar who is not going back to base. And... What? Did, did he say fuck you? What, what, what Mr. Avatar? Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean no dis disrespect. Okay, okay, yeah. Good boy, go back to base. <laughs> Avatar was angry. I got scared for an instance. Okay, uh, so Wraith Lord is, uh, let's see. Autark is dead, Wraith Lord is dead, and uh, yeah, this engagement went in the favor of, definitely in the favor of Zevergel. Yeah. This poor Wraith Lord, this um, Dreadnought only had the upgrade, but Wraith Lord had two upgrades and um, was doing so much, like, was the bread and butter and meat and potato uh, of uh, Python's army. And uh, there's only the uh, Sir Council, I say only, it's only the Sir Council and the Avatar. Uh, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? I really needed a fire prism. 
disrupt all this stuff. Now uh, he's gonna be requisition starved. He does have the victory points though. He does have 200 victory points. Level 5 Chaos Lords. Uh, perhaps capitalizing on requisition points. Unfortunately, Plague Marines are decapping that. Okay, uh, Chaos Lords are cheating. <coughs> <laughs> so uh to take down the uh and look at this here comes more headache kills predator how, how are you gonna deal with that going for bright lens? yeah he does have the bright lens. but yeah uh, to deal with the great and clean one your best option i guess is the seer council jumping into the goo and uh, perhaps get uh, some dark reapers with the double blood that is just catching to the dark creepers it's kind of tough man it's kind of tough and uh ignoring the goo going after blood others i don't know <laughs> chaos lord can also can get the uh blood mole as well and zevar girl has a nuke on the ready suddenly um after the purchase of this avatar sorry mr avatar you're gonna be angry but Things have gone to shit for <laughs> Python, unfortunately. These double blood letters, yeah. New level 4 blood letters. And there's gonna be the fire prism. Let's see how the fire prism does. There's a chaos predator with the mark of corn, okay. It does tons of damage to infantry. <clears throat> Actually, I like this mark of corn because you know what? There's not a hard A B option in uh, Python's army. There's only Brightlands. Uh, Avatar is melee, basically really slow. Shit to deal with the Chaos Predator, and uh, like Avatar is not shit, but I mean in this instance, oof, Guardians, <coughs> don't go down. The snare, no, 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 no. <coughs> oh God, really? Yeah, he is really good with his uh, snares or intestine, intestine hook or whatever it is. Yeah, Guardian go down. This, this is GG, man. This is GG. I can see a way out. Goddamn fucking chaos, Lord. <laughs> I hate you. Ah. Anyway, uh, Fire Prism is in here. I think that's the focus shot. Look at how little it does versus the great unclean one. <coughs> Double blood letters. Dodging that. Oh, I, I like the fire prism colors here. Okay, fire prism going back. There isn't much to... Um, Deter the fire prism, but uh, you know what? It doesn't need to deter the fire prism. Fire prism at this point doesn't do that much. There are double blood letters. Uh, there's so little infantry, and there's this corn predator can go forward and uh, kind of scare, scare the prism cannon there. <coughs> and uh, Avatar, please don't kill the seer council. Yeah. Okay, uh, doing some damage to this great and clean one. Little by little, but Python doesn't have victory points. If only this fire prism was uh, had came to the field, had come to the field sooner. And look at how uh, this uh, avatar dies in here. Yeah, look, look how um, how long it takes. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't die, but doesn't matter. It's just gonna go back to base. Can even nuke the base. Can even throw the great Hunkinim one here to buy time. Okay, uh, so uh, Python slowly takes care of the great Hunkinim one. Uh, that's a nuke takes care of the uh, Brightlands. Come on, Sir Council, at least kill the great Hunkinim one. Come on, kill the goo. Kill the goo! Kill the goo. Okay, goo is dead. Who is dead, but you know what? Yeah, that, that's a good finale. Yeah, who is there? 
Although Farpism don't die to the goo. Ah. But even with the goo dead, it doesn't matter. The Farpism is gonna die, but before that, the victory points are gonna be zero. Zero to hero. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be the game. Damn. Look at the unit composition. In 1v1, what was the last time you uh, see a uh, avatar at the first of the roster? Seer Council second and uh, Firepism the third. And uh, double blood the third <laughs> with Plague Marines. But, but what is this roster? Real, literally, I've lost my mind. Sanity is for the weak, brother. Sanity is for the weak indeed. Level 7. Warlock also had the Heart of Darkness to um, grant Warlock in power. Recharge energy over time. Yeah, this is good for champions rope. This um, <coughs> Heart of Darkness. But in, anyway, GG's. GG's. That was a fun game, but uh, yeah, I still stand uh, that <laughs> this was a mistake. But it, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Who cares? Um, like to see Avatar and the Goo in the field. Finally, Goo went down to the Sewer Council. You see how good it that squad is yeah gg gg well played by both and uh yeah warlock versus the chaos lord so uh it started um i think okay for both players then um uh, basically warlock had the tanky build and uh kill the heretic squad and python um Zavargel killed the warlock in turn and in tier two that was the <laughs> craziness of a uh, Double Blood Eaters and the Wraith Lord and uh, all the Plague Minion shenanigans. Wraith Lord did really good with Shurken Cannon. <clears throat> and suddenly Double Blood Eaters uh, did their thing. Plague Marines. Uh, also, there was a Dreadnought, Corn Dreadnought, which uh, was a good bait for the uh, uh, Shurken Cannon. Wraith Lord was a pain in the ass for Zorgal, I'm sure. And in tier 3, Avatar happened and fucked everything up. <laughs> and uh, in the end, though, Sir Council finished the ooh, Like that one. And yeah, that was the game. Uh, here was score here. Um, Fever Zev. Yeah, he killed the Warlock two times. At level 7 Warlock, though. Uh, unit score uh, eh, pretty close. And yeah, that's the resources and the points. But anyway, yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed these lads, and uh, yeah, another Chaos Lord play. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and until next time, this has been Rostan. Take care, and Godspeed. See you later.